Thank you, sir. We love you. We love you. We love you with all our heart. We love our heart. And we wish you the best. No, no. I would say I never anticipated the outcome. This is how it is. You can see the reality. I went out like every normal Nigerian that wants to vote. I joined the queue. The queue was a long one, so I couldn't stand for long. Some group of boys just walked down. They were like opposite where we were queuing and they were discussing and later I didn't see them again, they had, they had gone. Like, let me say 30 minutes later, I felt a huge impact on my face. Instantly, I had gone short. Initially, I felt I've been shot at. I thought it was a bullet that hit me. I started shouting for help, calling for help. People were running past me. I saw some um, broken bottles, which I presume is one of those things that were thrown at, uh, thrown at me with uh, maybe something with different sharp edges. I was taken to the nurse's compound and she had to administer medication to stop the bleeding. I think that was the video that went viral because the bleeding was so much. I said I needed the proper medical attention so he brought the car there and took me to the hospital. <sighs> it was really a difficult one. I could still work, I have life in me. I know my vote can make a difference, can, can make a change. It's important I vote. I was disappointed. First off, there were no security officials in our polling units. When those talks came, they even threw away most of the votes that were already casted. As a Nigerian who has gone through this process and experienced this, I wouldn't wish for a repetition of this, a reoccurrence, that the government will take it optimal that there is security in polling units, that the election goes free and fair, no matter what. I'm not a politician.